On March 2, 2022, Johnson & Johnson received FDA approval for their AccuView TheraVision with Ketodafin contact lenses. These lenses are the first and currently only approved drug-eluting contact lenses on the market. They're made to treat allergies, and today I'll tell you all about them. Welcome back to Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. Give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. This video is largely deprived from the press release about TheraVision as well as my previous research on drug eluding contact lenses. Unfortunately, I've not yet had the chance to try these lenses myself, but I will definitely make a short for you when I've had the opportunity. I actually tried to order myself a pair, but they're not available yet through my distributor. So it is what it is, but I at least wanted to let you know that they're out there and you can start asking your eye doctor about these lenses. So drug eluding contact lenses are something I've discussed in the past and I'll link some of those videos here. And they're finally a reality here in the United States. The first one to market is a contact lens containing 19 micrograms of ketodafin, which is a well-established antihistamine. It brings to market a new option for contact lens wearers with allergies. So personally, in my clinic, the old alternatives were to either switch to dailies during allergy season, um, continue to wear monthly lenses but use allergy drops along with those lenses, or just switch to glasses during allergy season. But this contact lens is a daily disposable and it's indicated for the prevention of ocular itch due to allergic conjunctivitis and it provides vision correction in patients who do not have red eyes, who are suitable for contact lens wear, and who do not have more than a diopter, 1.0 diopters of astigmatism. Within the US, approximately 40% of contact lens wearers suffer from itchy eyes due to ocular allergies. Nearly 8 out of 10 contact lens wearers with eye allergies agree that they're frustrated when allergies interfere with their normal day-to-day -day contact lens wear. And so allergy drops have always been the most common treatment. We know Pataday went over the counter sometime last year. But 1 in 2 contact lens wearers say that drops are inconvenient for them to use. Overall, I'm really excited to try the lenses as I think they're going to be a great treatment alternative for my patients with ocular allergies, especially here in North Carolina where the pollen seems to fall like snow. I do think caution is indicated in patients with dry eye, so you know I'm going to relate everything back to dry eye on this, clinic, on this channel um, because that's what I treat in my clinic and that's what this channel is designed for, my people with dry eye. I like that it's a daily, of course, but ketodafin can be drying, so consider that if you have dry eye already. The great issue with dry eye and allergies, I always say that they, they tend to live in the same house, so allergies create holes in the tear film leading to dry eye. Dry eye can make allergies worse because you don't have that nice protective tear layer, and so Allergies are very common in dry eye patients. That's why I'm bringing this video to you on this dry eye channel. Um, but use a bit of caution. I typically try to keep my dry eye patients away from ketodafin drops because of the drying effect they have. So just use caution. I, I haven't tried them in clinic yet, but those, these are my thoughts. Like I said, I did try to get my hands on a pair of them so I could try them and give you more feedback, but they were not yet available. So that video is just going to have to wait. Thanks for tuning into this video today. I hope you're as excited about AccuView TheraVision as I am. Definitely let me know down below if you've had a chance to try it just yet. I can't wait to hear the feedback from you guys and also come back to you with more information once I've gotten to fit it a little bit more in my clinic. And if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Please hit that button and the bell so that you don't miss notifications. That's going to be it for today's iSchool. Class is dismissed.